Hi everybody, welcome back for day 23 of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. Today we're gonna can some pickles. I already got the squash that we put on the dehydrator jarred up. I will join that with the other jar. I gotta dig it out of the pantry. And these are the tomatoes. There are a couple that I put back on the dehydrator because they just felt a little bit sticky. But you can see they're nice and dry and those will be perfect for things that call for sun-dried tomatoes. And I had forgotten about my chives, so I got those out and jarred up there in the freezer. They do uh, thaw out very quickly, so when I take them out, I don't leave them out for very long at all. So I've already got my brine heating up and we're gonna use the steam canner. I'm just using um, this Mrs. Wages packet. I like it. And you're able to do whole pickles, spears or slices or a combination of all and they all process for the same so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do a few spears with uh some of the pickles pickles cucumbers from my garden and then a friend gave me some uh, thanks cindy <laughs> i'm not sure what variety they are they're really fun little squat things so i'm going to do just the normal round for burgers and stuff like that. My youngest daughter absolutely loves pickles, so I only can them in quarts because she could go through a quart in a day on a day that she feels like it. So I'm gonna get these all cut up and we'll get them jarred up. This will be a pretty quick and easy one today. I'm having to switch things up just a little bit because some of these fit in here, but some of those little squat pickles <laughs> they were too big to fit in the regular mouth jars and i don't think that seven quarts wide mouth will fit in that canner so i'm just gonna have to see how many i can fit with this mixed bunch <laughs> um, i'm going to cut spears out of some of these uh, longer straighter ones because my daughter does like spears and I have less of those than the slices. So I will let you know, I'll just run the canner a second time if I can't fit them all in there since some will be wide mouth. No big deal, it heats up and processes fast. It's a half inch head space and I think it's 15 minutes but I'll double check and tell you before I start the canner. I'm cutting the, the spears now and I have to cut them to length so there's proper head space. So whatever you cut off, you can make into slices since that is <laughs> allowable for this particular recipe that is considered a safe canning recipe. So I just cut these uh, cucumbers in half and then each half into to fourths for the spears. And I always, I always use a wide mouth there and I'll pack them in there really well. Get the rest of these going. I've got five jars. I am getting ready to put the brine in the sixth one, and there are three that are wide mouth and three that are regular mouth, so I'm hoping that that lid is gonna fit on there. I have never um, used all wide mouth ports in there, but I have been told that with the bands on that that doesn't fit well. So we'll see if I have to take one out, I'll take one out. But since it holds seven and I only have six, let's hope it all fits. <laughs> now with pickles, you, I guess I could be showing you here. The, you have to make sure, you always debubble all of your stuff, but pickles, to me, it's like you need to give them a couple extra uh, tries and wiggling and around and stuff because the way that they're in there, there is a lot of air bubbles. So let's see if we need to add any more brine, and we do, we're almost there. And then I went, but just a teeny bit extra. All right, good. Now this, I just have a little bit of brine left, but with this recipe, it says you can just put it in a container in your fridge for up to one week, I think it said. So if you're gonna be making more pickles, you just add it to the brine when you make it. Okay, so last one going in. Let's see if this will fit. Woohoo! 
These will process for 15 minutes. It would be 10 minutes for pints. So I'll go ahead and let that pressure build up inside the steam canner and get things cleaned up. I'll show you when I pull them out of the canner. The pickles are ready to come out of the canner. Those are gonna be some good hamburger slices. <laughs> I like lots of pickles. So when the pickle is nearly the size of the burger, that is perfect. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't get burnt. Oh man, my one thing is spears. Apparently the bottom broke. I checked my jars, but that happens sometimes, guys. Oh, well, well I'll clean that up. The rest of these are okay. They're not um, hurt by that, but obviously I can't do anything with those spears, but throw those away. Wow, what a bummer. I didn't hear that break or anything, but actually I went and did something, so I wasn't right in the kitchen the entire time. So anyway, that happens sometimes with canning. That is the first broken jar of this season for me though. So I counting my blessings, but unfortunately it was the spears, the one I wanted for my daughter, but I'm sure I'll make some more before the season is over. I appreciate you guys coming along. We'll see you tomorrow for day 24. Welcome back for day 24 of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. This is what I'm putting up today in a freezer bag. I think soon we'll pull them all out for sauce, but it's late. I've been out of town all day for a late celebration with my twin brother and my mom for our 50th birthday that was last month. So that's been fun. All of the jars minus the one that broke yesterday have sealed. And I just want to show you that again. Look at the size of that. I'm looking forward to eating that on a hamburger because it will cover like the whole thing. Isn't that awesome? I want to find out what variety that is and plant some of those next year. So I'm going to get these um, washed up and the stems removed, put in this bag. I guess I'll come back real quick to show you, but I'm pretty sure they'll all fit in here. If not, maybe it'll be a partial bag and that'll be it for today. Okay, we got these two bags to go in the freezer. These are, look at that nice, big, meaty Amish paste. I love those. And then the San Marzanos, both of them. Can't wait for that sauce. These, I'm not sure exactly what varieties they are. I would just guess that they're very small Rutgers. So I'm gonna put them in the freezer, not for canning, but just when I pull them out, the skins will come right off and I can pop them in a chili or stew or something like that just because I don't have an immediate use for them. And I don't wanna run the dehydrator for just these either to make more sun-dried tomatoes. And I think I'll get more use out of these that way. So that's gonna be it for today for day 24. We'll see you back tomorrow for day 25. Hi everybody, welcome back for day 25 of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. Today we've got cantaloupe. This is one of my favorite fruits and it is doing fabulous out in the back. We, I have some in the raised bed garden too, but back there, I, I don't remember exactly how many plants. I'd have to look back. There's just a few and we are getting cantaloupe every day, several of them for the last week. And then we've harvested a total of 24 today. Four of them were this morning, so they were eaten and also shared with others. So I have 20 right now to do something with. Some will go in the fridge, but I'm gonna try something I've never done before, which is dehydrate cantaloupe, which will obviously preserve it, but it'll also make for a really a tasty snack. Super excited because this is one of my top two favorite fruits. And I think my kids and my husband will love this. I will also be making more bacon with this. <laughs> How? <laughs> because the pigs have been loving the rinds and the seeds. The chickens get some too. So we're going to get this cut up. I'm, I'm going to have to just experiment with the size. I'm not sure how long this will take to dehydrate, what the best size is. So we're just going to try it out and see and eat some too. So let's get these cut up. I have six here that have some type of split or something on them. So we want to deal with those right away. Whatever won't fit on the dehydrator tray, I'll just put it in the fridge or it will eat. It will not last long at all. And I'll just take all, I have saved some of these seeds. I showed that in a different video. I don't feel like I need to save the seeds from every cantaloupe. I'm not uh, selling seeds, so, but I am, I am sharing some of them with friends. As you can see, there's a lot of seeds you could grow 
plenty of cantaloupe. Did I say watermelon? <laughs> cantaloupe for years to come with that. Oh, this smells so good. These are supposed to be like a personal size cantaloupe. And the ones that are in my raised bed are a little smaller in size than this. Maybe it's the amount of water they got, the amount of soil that they had. I'm, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't, I mean, I could eat all of this in one sitting because I love it, but I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a serving size. <laughs> probably need to cut these a little thinner, I would think, for the dehydrator. Maybe some of you know and can tell me, but I'm just going to put them in a container over here and when I'm done, I will fill up the dehydrator and then whatever is left there is left there to eat. Let's try it. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. <clears throat> All right, I'll show you how much we have once I get this all cut up. This is what I've got cut up, minus what the kids came and ate, the few bites I took, and actually one was overripe, so I just put that in the pig bucket. They'll get that in the morning. So I'm gonna see if I can fit this all on one dehydrator, or maybe I'll put two, but I'm gonna put as much as I can. It smells so good. I've got the dehydrator all filled. That top tray isn't full but it's full enough. I'm not gonna cut up a whole nother cantaloupe for that small spot. We've all eaten all that we needed to for tonight. So I have no idea how long this will take to dehydrate. These are pretty thick. I probably should have cut them smaller, we'll see. So we'll find out together exactly how long it will take to dehydrate. And if we love this, I have plenty more so I can fill this again and the other dehydrator. So that's all we're gonna do for today. We'll be back with more new stuff tomorrow on day 26. See you then. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is actually day 28. Yesterday was day 27 and I didn't do anything and I'm gonna share with you why. But today we're gonna wash up these tomatoes, trim off any parts that aren't desirable and put them in a bag. And we're gonna start getting the bags out of the freezer to make sauce, not today. I have other tomatoes that we harvested that need a little bit more time. They're spread out on a table and the, the tomatoes are starting to come on real strong, so we're gonna be making sauce very soon. I was expecting to have corn, um, but the farm that I'm getting it from had a little less than what they were hoping for. You know, it has been really dry, so they've postponed until next week. Obviously, this challenge will be over, but I am gonna bring you along in a video for all of those things. So the reason I did not do day 27 and I may may or may not do more days until this is officially over is when I was out harvesting in my garden I was walking on the um, the landscape fabric and there was like a divot or something under there that I didn't see and I like really wrenched my knee that have I've already been having problems with so I went to the doctor today fully discussed my MRI and what is going on and what that means. And I also had to start using this. I'm not happy about it. I'm believing that I won't have to keep using it. I definitely need it for stairs and I have a lot of them around here. So anyway, I do have arthritis in my knee. They, they scale it from one to four and I'm currently at a two or three. We'll see what we can do to alleviate the pain and the swelling. They did give me a cortisone shot that I was not excited about. I was prepared for it to be very painful and it was not, thank, thank the Lord for that, I was really praying. But, you know, there's all kinds of things that they say that this could be and in the future, if it gets to four, you know, whatever, it would mean a knee replacement. I do unfortunately have quite the whopper of a family history of those types of things on both sides of my family. But I would ask you to pray for me <laughs> that the, the pain and the swelling would go down because it is incredibly painful. And it is really limiting what I'm able to do, but I believe that Jesus is my healer <laughs> and that I do, this is not my portion. So I, if you are a Christian, I would covet your prayers and believing with me for complete healing. 
So anyway, enough of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean these up and see how many uh, ba bags I get. I'm guessing it will probably be one and a portion of another. And then we'll see what I may still do for the remaining days. We go all the way to day 31. I may or not be here, but I know that you lovely people understand and will not give me a hard time because I need to rest my body and not push it. But I am gonna bring you along in other videos for making sauce, for taking care of that corn and all the other things. And I have so many zucchini, I need to like go drop them off on people's doorsteps or something. <laughs> anyway, let me get this cleaned up and I'll show you what I get. Here's what we got. I'm so excited to have sauce soon. I don't remember how many bags are in the freezer. My dining room table has a bunch of tomatoes on it, plus they'll be coming in out back. So that's all I'm gonna do for today. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you for your kindness and your understanding. We'll see you next time. God bless. Hi everybody, welcome back for day 28. These are what's left of the dehydrated cantaloupe. Uh, my oldest daughter is a big fan. I'm not really a big fan, so that's it. But we have eaten through all of those cantaloupe that we harvested more. Those are cut up in the fridge and we're just working through them. Chickens have been getting with some, the pigs have been getting through some, it's been awesome. So when I was preparing dinner tonight, I cut up some more onions. Some of my onions were starting to sprout. They, some of, not all of them were really storage onions. They were sweet onions, but I wasn't expecting them to sprout already. So I've got another three cups I bagged up for the freezer. And then <laughs> I've got all of this zucchini and that's not even all, there's some more. I read about making zucchini pickles, so I'm gonna try it. I'm not gonna can them right now because I would just, I wanna make some and taste it before I go through the trouble and the wasted, <laughs> possible wasted materials for making pickles. So I'm just gonna take a couple of them and just mix up this uh, kosher pickle mix that I know I like the flavor of. Um, the Mrs. Wages packet that we used in canned pickles the other day, apparently that one you can't substitute zucchini from for what I read, but all other pickle recipes, I guess you can. So who knew, did you know? I had no idea. And then since I have all that zucchini, I am gonna go, I got my shredder out here and we're going to fill at least one dehydrator so I can get some more um, zucchini flour made. So I have that on hand for my daughter and I obviously have a lot of zucchini. And I think that's all we're gonna do today. I am feeling better, so that's good. I'm still just trying to take it easy. So let's get these things done. Okay, I've got this dehydrator full. The first three trays, I like completely loaded. It may take a little extra time to dehydrate. And then I have two quarts of like spears and two quarts of slices. I hope we like them. I just thought I wanted to do two of each because what if my daughter really likes them and I, oh sorry there was only one and then I don't have any more zucchini because that time is coming to an end soon so I used most I have these four crookneck squash we really want to make a dish that we like that I have not made at all this summer um, because I always use sausage or ground pork and we don't have any but we're going to buy our beef from the farm store where we always go and they do have pork, so we're gonna buy some so we can eat it. So we'll use those squash for that. So I have all of this done. That's gonna do it for today. See you back tomorrow. Hi everybody, welcome back for day 29. I've got some oregano that I need to de-stem. This is nice and dry. Some, some days ago, I don't remember, we harvested this together and put it on the drying rack. So now it's ready to be de-stemmed. And when I was in the garden earlier today, I harvested some cucumbers. And so yes, more pickles. These ones are not canned, but I know I've made a lot of pickles, but we eat these and I'm going to be having some birthday parties soon. And I will go through these pickles at those parties very quickly and I have to give some. So this one is not a mix. This is black peppercorns, salt, garlic, and apple cider vinegar and water. Really good. Oh, and a bay leaf. So I'm not gonna open these for a few days. Those are gonna be really good. I think that and this is all we're going to do today. I will look around to see if there's something I can do. I'm taking it easy. I'm, I'm able to walk around a lot 
better now, but I'm trying not to overdo it, especially because I have my youngest daughter's 13th birthday party coming up here very, very soon. And I want to be feeling good and able to get around for that. <sighs> 13. Mm, pray for me, my baby. <laughs> All right, let's get this destemmed. When I've dried herbs like this and they're still on the stem, I just take the stem between my fingers and pull, and it gets that all off of there. Just do it all the way down. And so this might take me a little bit. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll get a good size jar full. I'll show you when I'm all done. I did wanna share with you that I think it was last year, it might've been the year before, um, when I harvested my oregano and dried it like this. Afterwards, after I got them here, I ground it up in the coffee grinder. And I don't know, that just did not, it didn't do well for me. I don't know why it, oregano powder wasn't just how it behaved different somehow. And I guess whenever I've bought oregano, it's always been, chopped or crushed so i'm not sure maybe one of you know something about that but so i am not going to be doing that this year if it's big i'm just gonna take my scissors and kind of chop it up a little bit or something but anyway i'm gonna work through this and show you what we get when i'm all done this is what i've got this is a good amount i also made a big mess on the floor and of course the floor had been swept and mopped about 30 minutes before i started this so i'm gonna have to sweep it i'm just gonna put it in this half gallon jar i i have a half pint or a pint jar in my spice cabinet and i'll just refill that as needed but i am gonna go through just with scissors just any old way just to chop it up a little bit so it, any of those bigger leaves and if I find any more stems, I'll take those out too. I'll get this all chopped up and I'll show you at the end how full this jar is. This is what we got. I wrote on it in Sharpie. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know where my blue painter's tape is, but Sharpie, if you didn't know, on these will come off in the dishwasher or with a little rubbing alcohol. So with my goat's milk, I always just write on it with a Sharpie. So we have two days left in this challenge, but I'm gonna end this video here and I will do another one just detailing all that we did over this month. And I will be doing more videos for the other things that I am gonna to continue to preserve, like making the sauce, the corn that I will have next week and all that. I appreciate you guys joining me for this challenge. I always enjoy doing it. And I've really enjoyed reading your comments and seeing what you're doing also. Until next time, God bless.